So today I'm doing something kind of exciting. I'm hosting a plant swap in LA. It's gonna be at a park. I just posted on my Instagram story, like would anyone be interested in doing a plant swap slash meetup type thing? And people were down. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do this. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I've never actually been to a plant swap before myself. So I don't really know what to expect, but I'm bringing a lot of plants that can be propagated easily like pothos and philodendron and some live moss, some hoyas, some string of hearts, and I'm really excited slash super nervous. Like I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there's gonna be like no one there or if there's gonna be too many people. It's gonna be nice to meet some of you guys. I'm afraid I might be a little bit like shy, but we shall see. Hopefully we can just talk about plants. Over here in my kitchen, I got some stuff ready. So this is a large pot of mixed pothos I'm gonna bring and take cuttings for anyone who wants some. It's a marble queen and a neon pothos. Also, I don't really want or need any plants, so I'm probably just gonna give stuff away. And this is a philodendron silver sword. I might take cuttings or maybe just trade the whole thing as is. Then I have some more stuff over here. This is a pot of philodendron Brazil. And then this is a pot of string of turtles that I'll also just take cuttings from just so everyone can have some. I have some potted Hoya Linearis, some variegated string of hearts that I'll probably separate so multiple people can have some. And then also take cuttings of this very large Hoya Linearis. I've had this for a while now, it's very pretty. I have a bunch of cuttings of my Philodendron Gigas. And then I have some Philodendron Pink Princess, these little pots. Let me see what else I'm gonna bring. I'm also gonna bring some of my posters. I'm also gonna bring Chris. <laughs> Not mom. Like. I want some goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> so we're leaving in like 30 minutes or so because um, the plant swap is at 12.30. Like someone just tagged me in their story and they make art and they're bringing these super cute stickers. So I was saying that, oh, if you don't have any plants, you can bring artwork or stickers or just come and hang out. So yeah, it's cool that people are actually going to do that. I'm nervous. Well. We'll see how it goes. Turn left onto North Wilton Place. Mm. Park. It's 30 minutes before 1230, which is when the plant swap is supposed to start. I wonder if anyone will come. People will come, right guys? People slowly started coming and I think at most there was like 35 to 40 people. People were bringing their friends and their family too, which I thought was super cute. A lot of boyfriends there. Everyone was so kind and generous and brought really cool plants and other things like art to trade. And honestly, it became more of a plant giveaway than a plant trade because everyone was being so generous and just like giving people things without expecting anything in return. It was also just great meeting people that appreciate what I do and the work that I do and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you to everyone who came. I had such an amazing time. Also, thank you to Jahao and Chris for coming and supporting me because I was kind of scared to do this by myself. Also, thank you to Jahao for taking these really cute pictures of me and Chris. As we were packing up to go, I spotted an injured praying mantis on the ground. I think someone may have stepped on it, so I ended up taking it home with me. So the plant swap is done and now we're driving home and it was such a fun time, a great turnout, and I had so much fun and so many cool people. All different kinds of people and like all super interesting and everyone was so sweet and we were just like chatting about plants and hanging out and um, yeah, people made friends and they like started talking to each other. Yeah, it was so cute and I had so much fun. And people ate the snacks and they had the water and I gave people 
some of my posters and plants and I got some pretty cool plants too from people, so yes. When I got home, I put the mantis in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet. It has an injured wing and some injured limbs, but otherwise it seems to be fine. I don't have a name for it yet, I've just been calling it mantis, so yeah. Then I went to my friend Dustin's Friendsgiving dinner potluck thing. I brought some like pizza and things like that, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. We ate and talked, and then we played some board games. I would like to say thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you for, thank for bringing food. <laughs> So today is Sunday. Last week I hosted a plant swap, which was so, so much fun. Such a wholesome and sweet experience. And yeah, it's just so cool that like um, you guys, you know, my followers and stuff are so cool and so like talented and smart and beautiful. And yeah, it was like so cool to meet so many of you. Today I actually invited two of the girls that were there. They're these artists, they're amazing artists. One is named Megan and the other is named Vicky. They make like the cutest art and they brought their art and shared it with people. I invited them to come over to my apartment and just like hang out. They do a lot of botanical illustrations within their art. So I was like, yeah, you can use my plants as a reference. So yeah, I'm excited to see them today. I will be like cleaning up and stuff for them. I've also been doing a lot of redecorating in preparation for the plant tour and a apartment tour video that I'll be hopefully filming and putting out soon. Those videos are just kind of like a lot of work. So yeah, hopefully soon. I'm sorry. I know I've been saying that for like the longest time, but yeah, I'll just give you guys like a quick look around. Not really go into detail, but just so you guys can see what I've been doing, like in the different rooms. These are how the plant shelves are looking. I recently installed these grow lights. Um, these are Soltec Solution grow lights. I got them in white and they are extremely pretty and they definitely match the vibe and they're very attractive grow lights which is you know not super common because most grow lights are for the purpose of just growing plants and not really for the purpose of aesthetics so yeah I really like these grow lights when you enter this is my bed some plants you know plant shelves and then over here is my nightstand and I recently got these super comfy bean bags so yeah, these bean bags are from Muji and they're super comfortable. Um, I got them on OfferUp, so secondhand. And here is the aquarium I made, doing very well. Um, it's super lush and green now. And the balcony has been coming together very nicely. Yeah, the plants are growing really well and everything is super lush. It's been a while since I talked about the balcony area, so yeah, it's doing well. The pond's doing well. I put rice fish in it and they're super cute. I have some house plants just outside and they're also growing well. And then recently I put up a bird feeder and it's so nice to wake up to birds in the morning. A few days ago I installed these plant shells all by myself. Yeah, they're secured and I'm not scared. They're just gonna like fall down at any moment. And then over here is where the IKEA cabinet is that I made and I'll give you guys an update on that. So the IKEA cabinet is coming along really well. I found an injured praying mantis at the plant swap. I think it got stepped on so its wings were like super damaged. So I brought it with me and I put it in my cabinet. So now we have like a little pet. I don't know if it's a he or she, but they've been recovering really well. They eat, they're active and yeah, they're super cool. I've moved some plants out. Some of the begonia weren't doing that well because sometimes water would sit on the leaves. Yeah, overall a ton of new growth and it's so green and lush and a lot of the moss is coming back to life and yeah, everything is just filling out super nice. With a setup like this, you're kind of bound to get a ton of fungus gnats, but my sundew are doing super well at kind of keeping them under control. I don't know where my mantis is actually. I thought the mantis went missing because normally it's suspended from the lights. Yeah, they are just like so cute. Oh my god, I don't know why I think this bug is like the most precious thing I've ever seen. But look at it, oh my gosh. I still don't have a name or anything, but she's been in here, or they've been in here for about a week now, and they're exploring. This is the first time I've seen them on the ground. This is like their little palace now. I also installed some plant shelves up here to add more layers of plants. And these plants are my babies. I love um, my staghorn ferns so much. They're just so beautiful. And then here is the kitchen area. 
not much going on. This is the living room area. We put up this really cool, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a crane painting. Super beautiful and yeah. And in the office, I set up an aquarium. This is an Iwagumi style aquarium. It's only been about a month or so since I put this together. I love how the algae is growing on the rocks naturally. It's so beautiful. And here is the bathroom setup. I got some plants in here and some grow lights. These are also Soltec Solution grow lights. We're not gonna go in depth, but just so you guys can see what's been going on and what I've been working on. So I got some things from Ikea and I'll just do like a little unboxing for you guys. So this is the first thing that I got. Um, it's kind of just like a recycling bin, trash bin that I'm gonna be using for my soil and I'll have this on my balcony. It's really nice, it has like this lid that flaps open so I can just, you know, dig in and get the soil without making too much of a mess. So this is gonna be really nice. And then I got some concrete saucers. These are pretty cheap and they look good with wood and natural colored pots. And I got more of these cork pads. They work really well as saucers because I don't want to damage any of the wood, like the wood floor or my wood furniture. So yeah, I need some type of barrier in between my plant pots and the wood. And then I also got two of these, one for me, one for Chris. These are like phone holders for desks. So I think, let me see, while I'm editing or something, I can have my phone like this. Uh, in case I need to like import footage or something. And yeah, it's just nice enough to like pick it up off the table, put it down, <laughs> you know, it's, it's the little things, okay? But yeah, I also got one for Chris too, so he can have this while he's also on his computer. And yeah, he doesn't know I got it for him, so let's go surprise him. Chris, I got something for you. A phone stand? Yeah, it's a phone stand so you can use your like phone like oh, this. this is so nice. Oh. I know, right? I knew you would, like, I got one for myself too, so. If your man doesn't treat you like this, <laughs> yes. Wow. So now I'm just gonna clean up and get ready for Vicky and Megan to come over. Um, I'm gonna light incense and yeah, just take care of some things and maybe do some plant chores and yeah. I normally don't have anyone over, really. So I don't really know, like, do I need to like have food or something? I have some grapes and this watermelon because it's kind of a hot day in LA today. So I think this will be nice and refreshing. They also are just coming from a craft fair. So I feel like they're probably wanting something light and maybe sweet and cold or something. So yeah, I got this stuff for them. This one is from Megan. Yes, this one. These ones are from Vicky. Please. And then I'm also giving them my print. Go buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie and Vicky just left and I had so much fun. I didn't really record anything because I was just having fun talking with them. And I'll put their Instagram and their links in the description. Now Chris and I are gonna go to this thing. I don't know if you guys know, but I I've played League of Legends since I was like in seventh grade. Yeah, so I'm a pretty big League of Legends fan and recently they made a TV show on Netflix called Arcane. The show was surprisingly super good. They're hosting an event called Undercity Nights in LA. It's gonna be like this interactive experience thing. Here's the outfit, Arcane t-shirt, pants, docks, yeah. Okay, okay. Do team shirt, cause we're on teams. We're on the blue team. Pants. pants. And Crocs. And you're wearing Crocs? Uh, I think I'll change. <laughs> yeah, different shoes. <laughs> the event ended up being this big escape room, rave, bar, club type thing. It was really fun. People were all dressed up. They recreated the sets from the show and we had to solve puzzles and stuff. And then afterwards we got tacos and went home.
Hello. So today is Monday. I'm gonna go to my parents' house tomorrow for Thanksgiving. So I have to get my plants ready for me to be gone for like five days or so. That's what I'm doing today. This is one of my favorite plants that I have. It's just like a mixed pot of different philodendron and pothos. I like the different textures and colors and stuff. It's getting dark super fast, which makes me not want to do things and makes me kind of tired. So now I'm going to edit a TikTok and then hopefully post it or post it tomorrow. Then I'm going to read some of this. This is a new book I got. It's called Botany for Gardeners. I think it's to help gardeners learn more of the sciences behind plants. After that, maybe I'll start editing this YouTube video that I'm filming or maybe just play League of Legends and watch TV or something. I think this is like probably the longest video I've ever made. So I hope you enjoyed and yeah, goodbye. Have a good weekend.